Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to take a look on common problems with Milky Way photos, single exposure Milky Way photos. Starting how to fix the noise, add some sharpness and in the second video I'm going to show you how to remove the light pollution. Now, your taste may vary, okay? So maybe you prefer to have a little bit more sharp images and add a little bit of noise, as I do. Some people prefer to have a softer image and remove as much noise as you can. It will be up to you. I'm gonna just show you the tools and how I use them and you will do as you prefer. Of course, we're gonna talk about a little bit in texture as well and chromatic aberration. Now, as you can see, we are in bridge, so I'm gonna use Camera Raw. But if you prefer Lightroom, the tools has the exact same name and they are a little bit misplaced, but it, the result will be exactly the same. So here is the image that we're gonna work on. As you can see, it's 3200 ISO and it has some problems. This has a really basic color correction and zoomed out like this, it kind of looks so-so, but you can already see some noise. First of all, the main problem, let me just zoom in to 200%. And if I go here, you can see already the noise really creeping in over here. You can see some color fringing on the stars themselves and the dark areas is even worse, okay? Let's open this bad boy on camera raw. You can see that I already made some color correction here, but as you can see, the texture is all the way to zero. And I'm gonna explain later on this video why, because the texture has a very important role to play. We're gonna try to remove the noise and then we're gonna talk about the texture, okay? We're gonna focus, first of all, the details over here. So we're gonna go to 200% so it will be more visible and hopefully YouTube compression won't hide the noise. Let's start with the color fringing. Now as you can see here in optics I already activate the remove chromatic aberration and I already input the profile corrections for the Sanwan Wayang lens and still there is some color fringing. To fix this you just open this okay and as you can see the main one that is bothering me is the purple coloring let's just push just a tiny bit first things done let's go to fix the noise now so let's go then to details and in details uh, usually the sharpening has a pre-default of 25 40 or something like that for some reason but push it all the way to zero, okay? We're gonna play that after try to reduce the noise. The color noise always has some predefinition of 20, 25 or something like that. I advise to leave it as is for the moment and then we're gonna work on it after we reduce the, the noise reduction tool because if you remove this, it looks really bad. If you can see this, it's not looking great. So let's double tap the noise to put it as was and let's try to work with the noise now noise has a really cool feature if you press the alt button and push it it goes to black and white so you have an idea of what you are doing what you're gonna do it's pick this noise reduction knob and go away to 100 percent and put the contrast to zero and the detail to zero as well and let's play with this thing one by one if i push up the detail you can see that stars start to show up. Now, to be even more visible, if you want, you can press Alt and just push it and you have it black and white. And you just gonna push it until, until show up something awkward. For example, now, now, now. Now it's showing up more than actually stars. So I'm gonna stop around here. Now, back to the contrast. Let's press Alt, push the contrast, add some contrasts uh, until pop up something that I don't want to see around here. This is still looking really bad, so let's push down the noise reduction around here. I guess around here it's looking good. If I check out the before and after, already a big improvement, okay? So let's go to the color noise reduction. 
and just push it down until the noise is visible. Not way too much visible, but at least visible. So you can work out the details and the smoothness. Around 5, 10, as you can see now, it's pretty damn visible, okay? I'm gonna leave it there, okay? Now I can play with the detail. So the detail, what it's gonna do, it's try to add some detail on the colors by not adding too much. As you can see, if I push down the, the detail, it gets a little bit better. Now, I don't need to clean everything, everything in detail because I'm gonna push up back the color noise reduction after the fact, but I'm gonna leave it as is right now. There we go. The smoothness, I'm gonna go here it's, that it's more visible. Okay, and if I push it up and down, you can see what it's happening. So I'm gonna add it a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm gonna push the color noise up. Now, uh, to use these tools, you don't need to press Alt because it won't do anything because it's colored. If you put it in black and white, you don't see it, okay? Let's just push a little bit. There we go. Nice. Before we go work with the sharpness, let me just check this area here. And as you can see, it's still not looking good. So I'm going to reduce the detail a little bit as so. Looking better, okay? Always check out some different areas on your image to see if you are not adding way too much of this a noise reduction or detail or something like that, okay? Now, let's add some sharpening. Again, sharpening as the noise reduction, you can see it in black and white. If I press Alt and push it, you can see the detail popping up. If you add too much, you are actually adding some noise. So you taste me very. For now, I'm gonna leave it at 150%, so I have a clear idea what I am doing. And let's play with the other tools. So masking, I'm gonna put back to zero. I'm gonna explain that later. And radius, let's press Alt and just, you can see that it's adding some contrast between the edges. Uh, maybe here in the rocks will show you better what it's doing because it has a clear frontier over there. So we're gonna add some light pixels on the bright area and some dark pixels on the darker area that gives you an illusion of sharpness. Let's push the radius up. As you can see, it's adding some contrast on the edges by adding some dark areas and some bright areas. So I'm gonna reduce this until I feel that it looks something that it should look. Again, details. You can see that the details will smooth out if you go down and add more when you push up. And I'm gonna leave it around here. It has some texture over here, but it's with a compromise that I can accept. This is looking bad, so let's push it as so. Now, let's apply the mask. So the mask will be the area that will affect the sharpening. So some areas, for example the ocean, doesn't need any sharpening because it's supposed to look smooth. And again, pressing Alt and pushing up the mask and you can see pretty damn clearly the areas that this sharpening effect is affecting. So the dark areas are not affected by sharpening. So yeah, the rocks on the top, the ocean, it's not being affected by this sharpening and let's reduce now the sharpening on the top. So around here. There you go. Looking better. So the before and after. Zoom out, let's zoom on the Milky Way here. On my opinion, this is way too much. I prefer to have some noise and have a clearer image don't have no noise then what is showing up here so the noise reduction I'm gonna push it back to my own taste as so I prefer to have some grain some noise than actually just be a blurred thing okay your taste might vary but mine it's like this so you do you you do you now let's play a little bit with texture so the technique that I'm gonna show you you can use it everything that a selection tool can be used. Uh, texture, clarity, uh, dehazed, color temperature. You can do what I'm gonna show you directly. But I'm gonna show you texture because a lot of people use texture really badly. As you can see, if I push up the texture, you're gonna say, wow, it, the star starts to pop up. 
this is looking very good until you really pay attention and let me zoom in you can see that the noise is starting to show up again but it looks so good as so for Instagram so you could color grade for Instagram and another for printing but that is not how I roll we only want to the texture be affected in the highlights so let me just double tap here the texture it goes way back to zero and of course another thing that you can do with texture is actually if you push it down you can see that the noise disappears it looks way better but it looks like an aquarella painting actually the ocean here looks really nice with that let's play then with this bad boy properly now what i'm gonna do is use the friendly tool gradient tool and i'm gonna want to add it on the sky like so okay again it's applying stuff because i don't press the reset sliders automatically but i can press here to reset it don't press here because it will delete all the work that you did before as so no let's reselect this bad boy over here and let's pump up the texture it's only adding the texture on the sky deck now i don't want to add on the whole sky to add some noise i want to add only on the stars and we have this perfect tool that I really love down here called Range Mask. And let's select Luminance. I can visualize the Luminance map, so it flashes red and converts everything to black and white. It's a very useful tool. And I can select which part of the histogram I want this to take effect. Here, as you can see, on the left is the blacks and on the right is the whites. So I only want the whites. And so let's select the whites over here now it almost disappeared everything so the smoothness needs to be added on or remove it so have to really compromise here okay and let's remove this visualize map and as you can see it's if i zoom in you can see that the texture will affect more the highlights than actually it's affecting the sky itself looking way better of course i could duplicate this bad boy okay so i have a second one over here and just really run with something really stupid i'm gonna put it outside of the image if i put the range mask to none you can see that it's affecting everything so this is a good way to use range mask in the whole image now let's put again the luminance and remove the mask okay and now what i want to affect is not the white areas i want to affect the dark areas as so and let's push the texture down let's go check this area here this problematic area here and push up the texture and remove the texture as you can see it's getting rid of the noise by removing the texture on the darker areas only on these areas now let's see the before and after up looking good looking good let's zoom in at 200 percent very nice so there you go if you want to see more tutorials about photographing the milky way and how to read it etc there is a playlist that you can check it out okay and there you go so drop a like if you learned something comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this i am miguel until next time see ya